Hey guys, this is Chess Fanatic and we have a new game here that I just want to study and um, how about we study together just to learn some more interactive things that we can do with chess. So this is a very famous game in between Wesley So and uh, Rand. I'm not exactly sure how to say that but anyway this is study only chess. So let's start, just start with the game. So, so uh, start with the e4, then we have a c6 reply, then we have a c3, and then after that d5. So already we can see that it's uh, a little bit, you know, normally I don't really like to open up this file for black if I were black, but uh, since these are <laughs> the champions in chess, you can't really question them, see how it goes. So uh, computer is suggesting, um, this move and exactly how he played it. Let's see what happens next. Obviously, this is the most legitimate attack, and he might actually want to take this knight, which is the plan. The reason why you bring that uh, bishop up like that. Right. So now, right now, I'm still looking at the uh, complete structure of white. It's a little bit stronger than uh, black structure because uh, there's a couple of gaps here and here. So. Let's just see. Now, nobody was trying to take this uh, pawn, so why thought that, okay, let's just go ahead and take this pawn. So then, now black has a pawn structure built up till here, and which is actually a little bit stronger sign for black, but not very strong. It, it can be overtaken uh, with a few moves. Now, white builds up his rook. I'm not exactly sure what he's trying to attack here, but let's see so knight comes out and then we have okay so he's trying to attack this bishop but it's not a very strong attack the bishop is going to go back just like that but still uh, white has peace developed and he has slight control over the center as well at this time so now this again i'm not exactly sure what he's trying to cover but uh let's just see what happens so <laughs> it's like black is offering his Knight, he's saying, okay, just take it. I don't care. But uh, he's not going to take it, and uh, he brings a knight here. So there's some additional protection for this piece and this piece, uh, which is what I'm getting at right now. So um, black wanted to bring the knight here. Maybe he's trying to attack these pieces and this range, which is actually a good idea because this uh, place is vacant on the board. Now let's see the development. Again, uh, white is building uh, this area and he's directly trying to attack his king somehow. So let's see if that works or not. Now black again is uh, putting his knight here. Maybe he's trying to bring the knight here. Not right now, but maybe in the future. I'm not that sure what he's trying to do. Okay, so this uh, he wants to get rid of this pawn. Again, the reason could be because he wants to move his knight here in the next coming moves. So now this is a very uh, strange attack by um, White. What he's doing or trying to do here is that he's um, not letting the king move. And plus, now black cannot really progress his pawn here, which could actually be useful. Now this was a mistake, I would say, by White. He did not really see this, or maybe he did, I don't know. But, um, now his uh, one of the pieces is in trouble, so he sacrifices his rook here. And <laughs> I can't really understand it. I mean, he takes the knight back, and he's not even trying to take the rook here. So I guess uh, this would be the best option. So let's try to understand this move. He takes a rook here. Okay, that's fine. So if black birds you take this rook then again white would have to bring the bishop here or maybe the queen here so i think this would have been a best choice but i don't know why they did not really go for that right now again another sacrifice now makes sense because we have two way attack he could just you know still Lots of things that I'm not able to understand with this game. 
Right now, white looks in a very good position because black did not really take his rook, which did not really make any sense. He really had a very good advantage here. Now, if the queen comes here, he should have taken it. And he's not going to take it. Yes, Maria. Wait, Maria, Baba is recording a video. No video. Alright, so let's just see how it plays out because there's a lot of chances that um, were not taken. And at this time, I think white wins because there was a check and a mate. So I think um, this, since these are really, you know, big players, big shot players. But I think uh, black should have taken, this was a turning point in the game. If black would have taken the shook, he would have been a, in a better position. Because the thing is, white, wh what could white do? Like he would attack this and the king could take this, right? There's no attack at that time. White could have played this. And this pawn would come here. Then white would maybe bring this here. And then after that. So that was a checkmate. But you know, black could have played this one. Or this. They, they could have been some protection. But I don't know. Maybe that's the reason why they were thinking that they can't really attack. Anyway, this is the video. I hope you like it. Uh, do try to. Come up with your explanation what happened on the video and the game. Hope you like it. With that, just fanatic algae. Have a nice day.